use branch current analysis to solve for the indicated currents in the circuit. Okay, for branch currents, we need to use both KCL and KVL. And I think I will use KCL first in this node here. Let's name this node as node A. Right, let's do KCL at node A. Okay, and KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, what is the current that goes in into node A here? We have this I1 and eventually it will goes here. So this one is also I1. And that will be the one that goes in, right? So I have I1. And here we also have I3, which is also goes into node A, right? So I have I3 here. So we'll have I1 plus I3. And that will equal to this current here that goes out, right? And eventually it will goes here. So we have I2. And that will be the current that goes out. So that will be I2. Or we can isolate it for I1. So we'll have I1 is equal to I2 minus I3. And I think nothing further that we can do. We have this one here. Okay. You can also do KCL at this point B. But then you will get the same result, right? Because here I2 goes in, but then I1 goes out in this battery here. And then I3 goes down in this battery here. So I will have I2 is equal to I1 plus I3, which is this equation, but on the other side, right? But that will be redundant to do another KCL at B. So we need to find out other equation here and we will use KVL here. Okay, if we see it here, all the currents forming a loop that is counterclockwise. So I just follow it. So this one will be our loop number one. So that is counterclockwise. But here, all the current forms loop that is clockwise. So I will have loop number two. I will use it clockwise like this. However, it will be very useful if we label the polarity of the components. Okay. For the battery here, the long one is positive and the short one is negative. Do it for all the components. So we'll have this one like this and this one like this and finally this one like this good and for the resistor where the current comes from is the positive side and where the current goes to is the negative side so that is for the resistor and here also where the current comes from is positive and where the current goes to is negative right apply that for all the resistor this one and also this one plus and minus okay and the sign will be very helpful for us doing kcl i mean kvl the kirchhoff voltage law so i will do kvl at loop one and kvl said that the sum of the voltage will equal to zero good Let's start from this 6 volt voltage source and the loop here entering from the negative terminal. So we will have minus sign. So I will have 6 here, minus 6. And then let's move on to this 2 ohm. So the loop here entering from the positive terminal. So we'll have plus here. And then we will have 2 ohm there. And then to get the voltage, we multiply resistance by the current. And the current that pass through this is I2. So I have I2 here. And then another battery here. And the loop entering from the negative terminal. So I will have minus sign. 
and we have already for this year which is for fall good and here we have another for fall battery and the loop entering from this negative terminal so i will have minus here and then the value is for the magnitude of this voltage and one more component we have this 2 ohm resistor and the loop is entering from the positive terminal so i will have positive value and this one will be 2 and to get the voltage we multiply it by the current that pass through it which is i1 all of that will equal to zero okay and so we will have two i1 and then plus two i2 and that will equal to minus six minus four that will be minus 10 minus four minus 14 and move it to the right hand side that will be 14 okay so i will have i1 plus i2 that will equal to 7 okay however i1 is i2 minus i3 so let's plug that in i2 minus i3 plus i2 and that will equal to 7 and so we will have 2 i2 minus i3 that will equal to 7 okay i think nothing that we can do from here let's save this as equation number one good now let's do another kvl but this time at loop number two kvl at loop two okay kvl said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero Okay, let's start with this 2 ohm resistor here and the loop here is entering from the positive terminal. So I have positive sign and the value is 2 ohm but we need voltage so multiplied by I2. Okay, and then here the loop entering this battery here from the negative terminal so I will have negative sign minus 4 here and then here the loop entering from the positive terminal so we will have plus we will have 1 ohm and then multiplied by the current that pass through it which is i3 okay and then it enters this 8 volt battery here from the negative terminal so I will have minus 8. Good. And then for the last component, we enter this 3 ohm resistor from this positive terminal. So I will have positive sign. So I will have plus and then 3 multiplied by I3. And all of that will equal to 0. Good. And now we will have 2 I2 here and then 1 plus 3 that will be plus 4 i3 and then minus 4 minus 8 that will be 12 and let's have this as equation number 2 so now we have equation 2 equation and 2 variables right equation number 1 and equation number 2 Okay, let's clean up our slide and solve equation 1 and 2. Okay, now let's solve for 1 and 2. So, 1 and 2, how to solve it? I think I will use elimination here. So, let's rewrite equation number 1 here. 2i2 minus i3 is equal to 7. And then here we will have 2i2 plus 4i3 is equal to 12. We can subtract this to eliminate that 2i2, right? So we will have this one and we will have minus 
5i3 is equal to 7 minus 12 is minus 5. And so we will have i3 here is equal to 1 ampere. Okay. But then if i3 is 1 ampere, we can calculate i2, right? So I will have 2i2 minus i3 is equal to 7. So I'll have minus 1 is equal to 7 here. So we will have 2i2 is equal to 8. And therefore, I2 here is equal to 4 ampere. Okay. But then, if we know I2 and I3, we can calculate I1. Okay. So that is from here. So, we will have I1 is equal to 4 minus 1. And so, we will have I1 is equal to 3 ampere. And let's highlight that because I1, I2, and I3 is all the currents that we are looking for. And I think that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.